Hi guys and welcome back to another video. Today we're going to do a bit of a different video than our usual comparisons or review. And uh, today we're just going to focus on zombie mode, get some gameplay in, do some commentary. Uh, I'm quite frankly a bit over the Barrett getting modified. I've done like multiple videos on it. So I just wanted to step back to the normal and pop out my normal videos and just uh, work with that. So the weapon I'm going to be using for today's match is the sig i don't know why but it is especially uh useful against zombies it seems really powerful when you use it against zombies and it performs amazingly so that's the weapon i'm going to use the secondary weapon i'm going to use will probably have to be the desert eagle because i need as much power as i can and i gotta try to last as long as i can with uh the weapon i have so those are the two weapons that I'm, I'm going to use. Uh, other than that, I'm going to use... What, what should I use? Um, wires. Uh, and then... Forget med kit. We need ammo. And then I'm going to use ammo. Uh, and finally, I'm going to use grenades. Uh, so, why didn't I equip the wire? Which is, That's weird. Um, so, yeah. This is my, what my setup is looking like. I'm going to have to go ahead and change my clothes because I need a regenerative skin that comes in so, so helpful uh, when when you're working with uh, zombie mode or survival mode, whichever one you like to call it. Call it. So, I'm going to go ahead and use the mercenario outfit. That's the one I have. I don't have the turtle or the robot. Uh, I personally think both of those look better, um, but in any case, at least I have the regenerative quality uh so yeah let's get right into the game uh see how we perform and uh sit back relax buckle up uh and grab some snacks because this is gonna take a while uh i'm assuming 20 minutes plus if we don't lose uh and probably even more if we do um but yeah this is a new map for me i've never seen this map before uh and they changed it up a little bit wow I did not notice any of this in the past. So uh, this is my first time reviewing uh, the zombie mood after the update. So uh, if they've added any modifications to it, this is the first time I'm seeing them. As you can see, uh, Sig performing pretty nicely against these zombies. Really quite accurate uh, and performing quite well. Um, wow, okay. Uh, I actually quite like this map. It looks really nice. We got high vantage points where we could see the zombies coming from, uh, and a whole lot of other stuff. Oh, what is that guy doing in there? Okay, so I am quite new to this, so if there's anything, uh, that I don't know of, please do tell me in the comment section if you do have a little bit of experience with this game. Uh, I would like to get better at it as soon as I can, uh, and hopefully just yeah be better at it in general so what do we have here grenades mines we got ammo and then we got med kits so for, as of right now we don't need med kits so that's good nice g63 we kill you wow nice little touch there <laughs> in the earlier phases i really like to use my knife in this game but i know i haven't used it all that often but um, yeah, I really like to use my knife in the earlier phases, especially since I have the regenerative armor on. I really don't need to worry about regenerating in the early phases uh, or getting med kits in the early phases anyways. Uh, so it's pretty easy uh, to get knife kills and recover uh, really quickly in the early stages. I know you could uh, use your gun up until the van is destroyed. Uh, because you could constantly replenish your ammo um but these zombies are relatively weak anyway so even if you do take damage from them it's not that big of a deal uh and the perk of having a regenerative armor is even if you take damage you will recover from it anyway so uh really not that big of a deal at all uh only phase two uh not doing terrible on the van end of it um we are well, now phase three, we are at 95% health still, so not too terrible. I personally think the zombie mode has gotten easier, and I understand why a lot of people have been complaining about how difficult it is. And honestly, I performed terribly. I only won a handful of times out of like 15. Um, 
So, yeah, this zombie mode was definitely really hard. Um, but I'm not, I, as I always say, I'm not really amazing in the game. Uh, I just do gameplay content because I enjoy the game. And I'm like, why not? Since I'm playing already, why not share the content with other people? But I'm at absolutely not among the top tier players uh, by no means. There are so many pe players that are better than me. So many players that even record videos that are better than me. But it's just fun to record. And I thought, why not? Um, but yeah, zombie mode definitely seems a little bit easier. They're definitely not hitting as hard as they used to. Uh, and maybe, uh, since, uh, maybe as the phases go along, it might get really quite harder. But as of right now, I would say it's mildly easy. Uh, wow, that guy just disappeared. I don't know where he went. Salm L Pro has left the game. Come on, man. We need our squad. Okay, so 92, still not terrible, phase 4, 92% uh, health, so team is doing a great job at, at defending the van, uh, and the van apparently could take uh, more damage now too, since, uh, well, as far as I can remember. Alright, phase 4, or wave 4, okay. 23 kills down, uh, not too bad. Uh, I've gotten up to uh, close to 100, so this isn't amazing. Um, wow, I need to kind of back off with these guys. Um, let's go ahead and swap over to a gun now. All right. But yeah, uh, if you're looking for a lower level weapon, and if you're a lower level player, uh, and you don't have that much money, the SIG is an amazing option to go for in zombie mode. I don't know why, but it just performs so amazingly, uh, and it has a decent amount of ammo as well. Really quite accurate, so you could get effective mid-distance kills with no problem at all. Is this somebody here? Oh, wow. I thought that was a player, but I didn't see him on the minimap, and then... That was, yeah, that was this weird. Um, but yeah, teamwork is crucial here. If you have a good team, you will survive this. Uh, and it is really tough to get a good team, especially if you don't know the people and you don't know the way they play. Um, but even still, like, if you work together, even if you don't know the people, I have gotten wins in the past uh, by just working really well where wherever you die, people come to uh, save you, and that way you survive. If everybody is trying to, like, save their own self, it's not that successful because uh, you're just worried about yourself and you're worried about surviving, and at the end of the day, if your teammates die, you're most likely going to die out as well because it's really hard to survive. Uh, without your team in here. And, whoa, wow. How did we all get killed at wave 5? So that was interesting. We all got one kill and we all got killed at the same time. So we died. Unfortunately, this wasn't a success, but not everyone is. And I put out content about how it really is, how I really play. So, yeah, uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, hit that thumbs up button. If you like this type of content in general, hit that subscribe button as well as the post notification bell. But other than that, I will let you go. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. And I hope you have an amazing day.